I have a confession to make. I honestly haven't had the drive nor the will to use Upwork lately. I still have my contracts, most of my clients there. But when it comes to like the actual daily use of it, you know, browsing through jobs and such, it's just been a little bit meh. Which is a shame since I currently have about like 100 connects that I got from the video I did, like right there, just trying out the new Freelancer Plus. But honestly, even though they're giving us 100 connects now instead of the 80, it's just not enough. The other day, I posted a story sharing a random job that I found that required 22 connects to apply. Now, let's do the math, shall we? At about 15 cents per connect times 22 that's like upwards of three dollars to apply to the job if you have a paid plan sure go for it but if you don't it will be impossible to apply unless of course you pay for the actual connects i love the platform i truly do and i still recommend it to a lot of people but for the most part you will likely need it to spend money on it and I know a lot of freelancers don't like to hear that. I wouldn't want to hear that when I first started. Because the thing is, nowadays you can have the like social proof of other freelancers that did it. Have that proof that, yeah, it's possible. It's a viable way of living. But there's always that little thing in the back of your head. What if it doesn't work for me? Now, I always say it will work if you do and if it's the right thing for you because i'll be honest freelancing is not for everyone you need to be very organized to keep track of all clients you need to really like that lifestyle because it's different some people say i quit my 95 to work 24 7 and while i do not recommend that approach you need to be open to some unpredictability sometimes for example, last year, I'll be fully transparent here, I made an average of $3,000 per month, but that was including some months where I made not nothing, but like really low income and other months where I surpassed my expectation. Little outfit change apart. I just feel like Upwork is moving in a direction that I'm not a big fan of. They're making it pretty much pay to play, which is a shame because like when you first start out, you want a proof of concept. You may not want to invest a lot of money, like $3 per job, but yes, that's not a lot in the grand scheme of things. But if I was just starting out investing $3 on a single job, knowing I would probably have to apply to more than one to get my first job, it would be a big ask. That may be reasonable for like expert level jobs, but if we go, actually, let me go to Upwork right now and see social media, entry level, see how many connects they ask for. The first one we see 15 connects, $2.25. You need to work for an entire hour to make up that. And also, the job post is not descriptive enough. It's one of those job posts that I'm like, if I want to know more, I need to spend the $2 to speak to you. Doesn't make sense. This one does have a bigger budget, but it also has a bigger ask. They want a growth hacker, so I'm already seeing they want a shit ton of views or a shit ton of whatever they are going to be hard to please this one is a little bit more descriptive i would say this is like perfect to me and it's only eight connects go figure again social media specialist i don't know exactly what they want if this is a budget per month it's crap but i mean if it's your first job and if you just do a month may not be that bad eight connects let's do the math again it's still above a dollar but i guess you can spare a dollar out of your hundred even though out of that a hundred ten dollars will go to upwork for the fees and then a dollar for the connects to apply. You see what I'm getting at? I'm a little bit mad at how Upwork is cash grabbing almost. That being said, I have been thinking about maybe doing a longer, better video each month with some sort of experiment are related to freelancing. And I thought, what if 
if I just give myself a fixed budget and just go all in on Upwork, spend that money on connects and boost things, availability badge, boost proposals and send a shit ton of proposals and then report the results back to you so you have all the stats what worked what didn't maybe everything worked maybe everything didn't work who knows would you be interested in that and if so what do you feel like is a fair budget for me to spend let me know down in the comments and yeah bye bye <laughs>